Hello, everybody. Hope that you're having a great day and off to a great week. We're so glad to be able to be with you. I've got somebody very special with me, my lovely wife, Diane. Hi, everyone. We're so glad to be with you today, and I hope you're enjoying this beautiful day. Hey, we're excited about what the Lord is doing. Diane, we, last week, all last week, I shared about the goodness of the Lord. I asked people to bring in testimonies, and that's exactly what they did. We're going to be sharing a number of testimonies today. You remember growing up uh, back at our home church, the Old Testimony Services? Oh, yes, yes. There were some really fun moments, and, and you know what? We, we don't do that no more. No. And it's so important that we declare the goodness of the Lord. Yes, it is. You know, I actually miss those times. Most of the testimonies were great. Of course, you did have some that would get up and just oh, kind of yeah. ramble on, and then you'd want to say, well, let's move on. But those are more wonderful testimonies. You know what? We've seen, we've heard, we've testified, we've witnessed of the power of God. And that's what we want to do this week to encourage all of you that are watching. I want to read to you, first of all, from the book of Psalms 92. And it says this, it's a good thing to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. On an instrument of ten strings, on the lute and the harp, with harmonious sound, for you, Lord, have made me glad through your work, and I will triumph in the work of your hands. I also like the way it says in the... Uh, uh, passion translation it says it's so enjoyable to come before you with uncontainable praises spilling out from our hearts how we love to sing our praises over and over to you to the matchless god high and exalted over all at each and every sunrise we will be thanking you for your kindness and your love god is so good now we got a few testimonies we're going to share with the folks today yes I've got one here that someone emailed in, and this happens to be a teacher. And she said, every year during the month of July, I have to figure out how to pay my bills since I don't get paid by my main job. This year, I wasn't sure how I was going to survive in July. But in one day, I was offered two part-time jobs. They came out of nowhere. I wasn't even really searching but was hired on the spot for both of them. Wow, that is amazing. You know what really strikes me about that testimony is, because we know this young lady, and uh, you know, Donnie, so many times when we're praying for provision and for God to bless us, we're really expecting maybe it to just fall out of the sky or a check could come in the mail. But sometimes, like for this individual, he opened up a door of blessing. Yes, you know, I was thinking when you were reading the scripture, it talked about the faithfulness of yeah. God. And you had asked me the other day what was, you know, a testimony that I could share. And I thought about it. There are so many times that God has answered prayer for us and Come our family on. and yeah. our friends. But you know, the biggest testimony that I could share with you today is the faithfulness of God. Throughout the years, He has sustained us. He has blessed us. He has given us children and grandchildren oh, who are on. healthy. Yes. My parents are healthy and in their 80s. I mean, I just feel like I'm a blessed lady. Come and on. And I got you. Yeah, come on. <laughs> hey, you know what? That also reminded me of something many, many years ago now. We've been married 44 years, yes. right? This past, this year. And it reminded me of when we go all the way back to when we got engaged. And I remember going to your dad and asking if I could marry you. And I said, listen, we won't get married unless I have a good job. Mm -hmm. And I'm just coming out of high school and really not knowing what job was going to open up. There was a possibility that maybe I could get on at the railroad because you know, your dad worked there. We had family members that worked there. We were kind of hoping something like that would happen. But you know what? We prayed. And that reminded me, we were seeking the Lord what to do. And in one week's time, I got hired by the railroad, got hired by the electric company and the gas company, all at the same time. And all I had to do was make a choice. And at that time, they were top paying jobs in our city. You better believe and it. And you were 18, just out of high school. And we were just chomping the bit to get married. Yeah, God is faithful. Friend, when you ask... I want you to know God hears and he'll answer and he'll be faithful to you. 